Hey guys, how is it going? This is Vifat Emok and welcome to my tutorial again. In this tutorial, we're gonna learn what is text editor, how gonna I use this text editor and from where I can download text editor, something like this. Okay, so let's say there is a 18 great text editors for programmers, for designers. You can find Notepad++, you can find Atom, you can find Brackets. Sublime text there here is also mentioned the platform windows OX everything my choice is NetBeans NetBeans ID is a free open source and has a worldwide community of users and developers quickly and easily develop desktop mobile and web application with Java JavaScript HTML5 PHP C C++ and more I mean everything so here is the features news here is the features and everything here is the current version of 8.1 we just click on download then here you can find netbin support these technologies everything ruby c++ php everything so you can download every supported technologies with a single tool which is netbin and click on it download so if you want to uh, work with only HTML and PHP, you just download this. Just ensure the operating system uh, like 32-bit or 64-bit like this. It's also 104 and 107 MB. But working with in, uh, NetBeans, uh, using NetBeans, you have to download the Java development kit. So let's say it's JDK, latest version. So you can, just, you can just click on it and here is the button download just click on it you can find these lists for Linux for Windows for Linux and Windows there's a, a 9.2 8.92 8.9 one like this you just accept it and download any of this JDK version okay so after this there is a icon like this and you can find the text editor look like looking like this so you can create any project you can open any project you can create any file for the for, by netbeans so we have to open our e-commerce psd or our that folder into this netbeans id just click on it and say html5 or php you can choose anyone any of this just next and browse the folder like in bulls desktop there is a bulls folder just copy it the standardized naming should be like this the source folder and the project name should be same should be same and just finish it and see here is your css folder fonts folder images js psd everything okay so take care bye bye see you in next tutorial on the tutorial we can uh, know about what is Adobe Photoshop and how to use Adobe Photoshop everywhere. So bye bye, take care.